we get infected let's go back to the kaplan book where we will discuss about this uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis so talking about the mycobacterium tuberculosis actually these are the you have already known these are the gram positive bacteria falls in the gram positive aerobic bacteria and that has a we do, do not remember them as a gram positive we remember them as acid fast bacilli why they are acid fast because they can resist even high concentration of acid s2so4 the sulfuric acid okay so even after decolorizing with acid they doesn't lose its color they can resist acid they can fast the acid so they are known as the acid fast bacilli okay so distinguished feature is that aromin rhodomin strain is this is a fluorescent system that help in the mass screening of the tuberculosis patient if in a community so they use a stain their name as the aromin rhodomin stain base bacilli this is a fluorescent apple green no antibodies involved sensitive but not much specific whereas the they are acid fast bacilli okay they they are aerobic slow growing that is very important if you want to culture this organism this will not grow in a one or two days it will take 3 to 6 weeks of the time so they are very slow growing okay the generation times is high slow growing on the special media for mycobacterium tuberculosis is known as the loincens jensen media so somebody giving you a scenario that there is a organism that has been grown on the loincens jensen media so you have to think about okay they are talking about the mycobacterium tuberculosis or slow growing new culture system there are some new culture system that contains the palmitic acid and that grows the faster they produce the niacin and there is a important characteristic feature that they have the heat sensitive catalyst all the bacteria all bacteria which you will see the catalyst test is a positive are actually what they are uh, catalyst for is positive at room temperature even mycobacterium tuberculosis is catalyst positive at room temperature but when you increase the temperature when you bring at 68 degrees celsius other bacteria produce the catalyst as usual but this mycobacterium tuberculosis will not produce the catalyst at 68 degrees celsius so it is catalyst negative at high temperature that is 68 degrees celsius now talking about the reservoir this is the human lungs you can find you know that transmission is respiratory droplet let me clear over here there are two type of respiratory infection one is the droplet infection and another is the airborne infection the airborne means the size of the particle the the uh, you can say the respiratory droplets that if it is smaller than 5 micrometer then that comes into the airborne means they are smaller in size so they can easily carry by the air and they can suspend in the air long for a long period of time and they can travel far so if i am got a tuber i have got a tuberculosis i can infect uh, a patient which is a long distance living in a same room it can in open place it will be difficult to get infection but in a closed space if it is a long distance also if the patient or a person healthy individual is staying away long distance then also it can be travel to that patient and they can, they will inspire that here because this this mycobacterium tuberculosis can travel can transfer because in within a small that is 1 to 5 micrometer diameter respiratory droplets they can carry this organism whereas we are talking about the coronavirus and other droplet infections like coronavirus diphtheria then so what happened they required a large droplet that is more than 5 micrometer so they will not travel to the long distance due to the gravity they will pull down and goes and settle down into the ground or in any surfaces so they will travel around 1 or 1.5 meter so to get droplet infection you need to be in a, within a close contact with 1 or 1.5 meter but for airborne infection like mycobacterium tuberculosis it doesn't need to be to be a very close contact even in a single room in a large conference room you will get the infection so you need to be understand between the airborne and droplet airborne you can travel you can infect a person which is very far from you in a same room droplet there should be a close contact very close contact around 1 1.5 meter and then only you can transfer those infection so this is actually airborne okay now talking about the mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, pathogenesis we know these are the facultative intracellular organism they have a sulfate diets we have discussed about this this are the sulfate diets is is in cell envelope envelope that in with the phagosome and lysosome fusion if you have the remembrance of the macrophage or we'll deal we'll talk about this uh, immunology ch chapter that microbial in uh, macrophages have ability to engulf any organism once the organism is involved they are in the phagosome then they 
goes fuse with the lysosome and form phagolysosome and kill the organism here this organism has one of the virulence factor called sulf sulfatidides that's actually in the cell envelope that prevents this phago and lysosome fusion once this is not fused the organism survives within your macrophage okay so allowing intracellular survival if fusion occurs vaccine instead of cell reduce the killing effect there is another core factor that is known as the trihalose dimycolate that's called serpentine growth in vitro that is that if you have seen the growth of our organism in the loins and Jensen media in that you will see that their growth is like in a serpentine fashion serpentine manner and this is due to the cord factor they inverse the leukocyte migration mig migration disrupt the mitochondrial respiration and oxidative phosphorylation so the, you can see these two virulence factors sulfidides and cord factor have a major role in surviving this mycobacterium tuberculosis and infective us and infecting us Tuberculin is a surface protein along with the mycolic acid, delay hypersensitive reaction that is type 4 and cell mediated immunity. Granuloma and cell mediated, uh, granuloma and caseation by cell mediated, cell mediated immunity, no exotoxin or endotoxin damage done by the immune system. So the primary disease, you can see the core factor over here. Let me discuss about the what are the risk factors. This is important actually. Mycobacterium tuberculosis has a high risk patient, poverty, HIV and IV drug user. So if they are talking about any patient that is poor, poor they are HIV or IV drug user, then, then they are linking you to the mycobacterium tuberculosis. There is chronic cough, weight loss, gone complex, or I mean rhodamine staining and acidphytis, um, bacilli in sputum, produce niacin and heat sensitive catalyst positive to the PPD and facultative intracellular. This, so these are the um, already information we have discussed. About PPD, let me clear you one thing. The PPD is, uh, this is a tuberculin protein. What happened? When you have infection, you have bacteria inside your lung, then body is trying to fight against it. So there is the, body knows that you have a bacteria in the lung, so they are stimulating the cell immunity, immunity and trying to kill it. If they are not able to kill, they will try to seal it. They are to enclose it, they are uh, try to encircle it till your immunity is intact. When you develop, when you test for the PPD, that is a tuberculin test, you put an intradermal injection of this PPD, what happens? The bacteria, same antigen is over there. The body thinks that, okay, there is a, another bacteria that they have left. So they will go uh, send, all, send all the cell, all the inflammatory cell at that site. So there will be the induration. They will try to enclose the trial to encircle the trial to um, what say uh, limit that organism in that place so they are sending all this inflammatory cell and because of that they you will see a induration in your skin this is type 4 hypersensitivity will take time but since this is a type 4 hypersensitivity but the mechanism is they are trying to kill that organism since it is a dead ppd is a dead thing then there, you, there will be not much problem but since it is an antigen body will be behave to kill that organism it will send all those uh, arms to kill that organism to instill that organism to enclose that organism and because of that you see the induration the more active infection you have the more immune response is there the more the induration will be shown okay so the more in duration it is more confirmatory that you have to understand now talking about the disease, we have uh, talked about the primary pulmonary tuberculosis. Symptoms can include fever, that is low grade evening right fever, dry cough, even productive count can be seen. The organism replicate in the naive alveolar macrophage, killing the macrophage until cell mediated immunity is set up. Macrophage transfer the bacilli to the regional lymph node is known as the gone complex and the most people heal without a disease. We have already discuss about this let me again tell you when you in, inhale the organism it goes inside your lung lung in the lung mainly in the lower and mid lobe so there will be the uh, uh, let me show over here you you can see over here if you goose if you buy if a mycobacterium tuberculosis is inhaled it goes into the lower or middle lobe where this is the lower middle lobe then it will try to a microphase alveolar microphase will try to catch it, try to kill it, if they are not able to, then they will send take the signals to the regional lymph node for the immunity and then both when involvement of this gone focus plus regional lymph node is known as the gone complex. Okay. So this, if they are not able to handle it, then this, this will disseminate in 10% of case and they will develop the progressive pulmonary tuberculosis. So we have discussed about this. Now talking about uh, Mm, okay, 
So we know that macrophages transport the bacilli to regional nephron known as the gone complex. The organism are walled off within the gone complex, remain viable unless treated. So you can understand this is how much important. Inside your own cell, the bacteria is sealed off and they are actually inside the viable. This our immune system has only made a wall over surrounding it. But inside the bacteria is still viable and if any means your immunity goes down, they will kill and cause you the infection unless you treat it. Okay. Reactivation symptoms can induce fever, hemoptysis, night sweat, weight loss, erosion of the granulomas into the airway, high oxygen later in the uh, life, uh, later in life under condition of reduced T cell immunity can lead to mycobacterium replication and disease symptoms. So talking about complex disease with the potential of infection, any organ system may disseminate to the kidney, GI tract, brain and, and vertebra. Diagnosis is the microscopy of the sputum. So when, what, what are the diagnostic, how we can diagnose it? In one way is to screen the microscopy of the sputum, where is screening with the aramine radamine strain or we can do the acid fast strain. We can do the PPD skin test. We have already discussed. This is the Montauk test. The more the zone of the induration, measure after 48 to 72 hours because it is a delay hypersensitive reaction. If it is more than 5 mm in HIV or anyone with a recent TB exposure, AIDS patient has reduced ability to mount a skin test. If more than 10 mm in high risk population, IV drug user, people living in poverty or immigration from high TB area and greater than 15 in the uh, in low risk population. So these are the uh, way to interpret the PPT test. Positive skin test indicates only exposure but does not necessarily the active disease. So that is important. Either you have previous infection or recent infection, PPD will be positive. TB, quantiferent TB gold test measure interferon gamma production when leukocyte exposed to the TB antigen and this is the one of the specific test actually. This is slow growing, colon is on the low and Johnson media, there are the other faster system as well. The organism produced niacin and catalyst negative at 60 degree, 68 degrees Celsius. There is no serodiagnosis in the point of treatment point of view that the multiple drug is required. We know first two months that is the RIP, that is rifampicin, isoniazide, pyrazinam and ethamidol. And next four months is the rifampicin and isoniazide. If there is a resistant, we can use this aminoglycoside, fluoroquinol, thiomide, cyclosarin, betaquilin, streptomycin. Prevention. For prophylaxis, isoniazide can be taken for 9 months, can prevent TB in a person with infection but no clinical symptom. BCG, vaccine cont containing life attenuated organism may prevent disseminated disease but not used in the U USA. So we have talked about a lot of things about this uh, revision organism. Let me tell you one more thing that tuberculosis actually this five reason for increasing incidence of TB that is in the developed countries only the immigrant from high prevalence area, patient with HIV, patient with social deprivation, patient with increased proportion of elderly and drug resistance. So these are the scenario, this will be the venicity for giving you a complete idea, a clue for diagnosis of the tuberculosis. So they will talk to you that, okay, a patient came from the Asia, an immigrant has came in USA and now he is developing cough, fever, uh, hemoptysis, then you have to, you easily understand they are talking about the mycobacterium tuberculosis. So this five point, immigrant from high prevalence area, HIV virus, social depression, poverty, this will be the main point they will be focusing, okay. So then you can see over here, this, this is the primary site where uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis either progress and cause the disease, I goes to the lymph node and form, this is a gone focus, this involvement is gone complex, they can even involve the pleura and goes to the system circulation and infect other organs as well. So, you know the feature, we have discussed about the feature, we have known about now, this is the clinical presentation like chronic cough, prior except unknown origin, unresolved pneumonia, exudative pleural effusion, asymptomatic diagnosis in a chest x-ray, weight loss, spontaneous pneumothorax, there are a lot of complications. And the <clears throat> let, let's come to the diagnosis part. What are the diagnosis? We will test the sputum or gastric wasi or bronchoalveolar lavas or transbronchial biopsy and send for the stain and culture. So respiratory, non-respiratory can be also the sample. So diagnostic may, may be circumstantial like ESR, CRP, anemia, tuber clean test, 
stain zehel nansen tree stain and aromin resin stain then we can do nucleic, nucleic acid amplification test like zine expert where you do uh, identify this organism as well as one of the drug resistant that is rifampicin then we can culture in the media like solid media is nansen nansen media but it will take two to three weeks for the growth to develop then we can do the uh, like liquid that a new system like bacteria has been developed and then also response to the an empirical anti-tuberculous drug helps in the diagnosis of this disease. Thank you.